All right, folks, final comments on uh, today's show. We will start with uh, Scott Bolden. Well, uh, as I was telling you earlier, the, the, what I saw in Charlottesville uh, is, uh, is, is as ugly as it gets. But what Donald Trump, as a sympathizer, has done has allowed these fringe groups to take their sheets off and to walk into the streets and have an expectation to be heard. He, he's hired Banyan and others in the White House. That gives them hope that these, these, these uh, neo-Nazis, these white nationalists, are actually in the White House. And then his denial, or denying not uh, condemning them directly and specifically, uh, lends itself to that as well. Eugene? You know, there is no place for racism and white supremacy and white nationalism in our country. And all of our elected leaders from the top down, from the White House, from the Oval Office, need to step up and condemn it and, and put real power and, and pressure behind it. For Jeff Sessions to come and say that this was not an act of, ter of domestic terrorism is completely wrong, it's completely BS. And I think, you know, if we're going to impeach anybody, it needs to start with Jeff Sessions. You, uh, Jennifer? And it meets the definition, yes. too. Trump, yes, it does. Trump uh, has normalized white supremacy. And so clergy have to be out there preaching and teaching, and we will be. We were on the front lines in Charlotte, and we need to do more. And our elected leaders, Every single one absolutely has to be on record about this and start addressing the cabinet problems and policy. Lauren? Uh, <laughs> the leader of our country, the 45th president of the United States, can't say the words racism, can't say the words all right, can't say anti-Semitism. We have to come to grips with the reality mm -hmm. that these groups have to, like I said, they have to be on a war footing. Right. This is not, th we're not in the analysis mode anymore. We know what we've got and there's got to be some some really hard thinking about what happens next. Mm. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.